What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique. I'm a classical pianist and today it's time for another one minute, ouch, one minute, ten minutes, one hour challenge with, uh, and I hope I'm pronouncing everything correct, Maurice Ravel, the third piece out of Gaspard de la Nuit called Scarbo, which is considered as extremely difficult because of all the repetitions. <laughs> Before we get started, let's repeat the rules of this challenge. You have one minute, ten minutes and one hour to practice a piece that you have never played before. And after every practicing session, you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to support me and this channel. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You'll find the link in the description box. And also don't forget to check out the merch. <laughs> Exactly this. 
Again, let's try. Like always, let's talk a little bit about what I was doing in this whole time. <laughs> it was extremely difficult to get these <laughs> these repetitions in the beginning. I was thinking about using, you know, different fingers for this repetition. It's very long, so you need time to relax. On the other hand, to create a specific sound effect, it was better to only do it with one finger but, or like a combination of fingers. Like I'm basically using the first finger together with the second and third finger to, to create this type of, type of movement and to have like all the flexibility of my wrist and stuff but my god it was so hard and yes one hour is definitely not enough Now for these repetitions, it's of course very important that you also have an instrument that lets you do these repetitions. Because if the action of the instrument is not working well, well then you can't do anything. I'm actually very lucky that I have a very high quality instrument here at my place. The Boston Pianos are like all the other big brands using Renner Mechanics. Actually, all the big brands except of Yamaha, the piano action is actually a very very interesting topic so maybe i will do a video about this tell me in the comments if you'd be interested in learning more about how the action of the piano works Scarbo is the third piece out of Gaspard de la Nuit and Ravel's inspiration for this work were three poems by Aloysius Bertrand. <laughs> anyway, and Scarbo, the third poem, is basically describing a funny demon or goblin that is disturbing the people during the night while they are sleeping. <laughs> Something that was also extremely difficult was to control the dynamics. There is a huge range of dynamics, like we are starting in pianissimo, then there are some arpeggios that are going into fortissimo or like this tremolo that is going into fortissimo. And I try to make big contrast to make this piece sound even more crazy. However, one hour is definitely not enough to get like the full dynamical range. Of course, the better you know the piece and the more confident you feel with the piece, the easier it's going to be to actually create space with the sound. <laughs> And like always, there's no video where I'm not talking about fingerings. <laughs> fingerings are really so 
so so important i can't stop repeating it the better the fingering here is especially for all the repetitions that come later and also the arpeggios and all the small movements the easier it's going to be to play very clean without being completely tensed. The technical problems are not as big as you might think if you use a good fingering for it. Still, of course, it's very, very difficult and you have to practice this a lot. <laughs> So dynamics is one aspect to create contrast, but also articulation. So I tried to make sure that staccato is like really sharp and crisp staccato, while legato is very soft and wide and like a singing sound to create even more contrast through articulation. Okay guys, so this was the video for today. I'm completely done. It's actually not as exhausting for the fingers, but much more for the concentration because of all the fast notes and it was not so easy to read everything. And also like the interpretation of the piece it was so much fun. And actually I really think about, I think it would be so cool to include this piece in my repertoire maybe after my exam. <laughs> what about you? Have you ever played something by Ravel? Have you maybe already tried to play Gaspar de la Nuit? Tell me in the comments down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to support me and this channel. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You'll find the link in the description box and also don't forget to check out the merch. <laughs> we'll see us in the next videos. Bye. Hello. Uh, So machen. Aber dann sieht man da hinten den ganzen Trash.